It's Friday, and I want to welcome you back from yesterday. Uh, yesterday, we got the two panels put on the back. Did I tell you? It's Friday. We got the panels put on the back. I just tacked them on, threw some green tape on there to take away, just to show where the panels have been put on. Uh, Jolene did what I said she was going to do. She took me to town, and we got a new English wheel. This is a new tool to me. I have one. Yes, I do, but it's a homemade one, and I've only got one wheel. It's a, I got a, it's a barren and a wheel off a cart. I made it. It's just a homemade thing. It did the trick for many years. Now I, I feel like I, I want to grow a little bit, and uh, I want to grow a little bit and, and try to get some shape put in the back of this panel. Sometimes when you're building stuff, you know, something like this, if you didn't have enough, you know, you would fill it and make it go to where it needs to be to, to get the shape that you want. Uh, I'm, I'm not wanting to do that on this right now. I'm trying to grow a little bit. On this panel, I'm going to show you where the ruler go. All right, on this panel here, um, it's, it's gone a bit flat. On the center where I have that square stock running up there, it has done a good job. It has done a good job. It runs down nice. It's got a nice shape to it. But when it comes down to this area here, I've lost my shape. I've lost my shape. Jolene hasn't never lost her shape. She looks amazing this morning. But anyways, as, I, as I've got no shape there, I wanna, I wanna bring that up a little bit, and I, I wanna put some shape into it, and the reason being is it's called less filler. That's about, about the end of it. I wanna put less filler in it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this piece back off, and I'm gonna talk myself through what I gotta do. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna talk myself through what I gotta do. I also, um, yeah, I'm going to talk myself what i got to do. So as I'm talking, I'm talking to myself, and you're allowed to listen. Uh, what, I, what I see here is where I've got the ruler on there. You know, I've got a little bit of shape. As I get up in there, that's the shape I want right there. That's the shape I want. See how it's going like that? How i got it rocking? i got it high in there. I want the same thing going on here. It's getting a bit flat, bit a bit flat, bit flat. So I'm saying that we want shape in there. I do not want to get too much shape coming back here because I don't want it getting high up here. I just want some shape in here where I think where I would have to use filler. And that's basically what I'm looking at is where I'm going to have to use filler to make it look good. I wouldn't have, there would be hardly any filler here. Um, there would be hardly any filler here. It's, it's just in this little, this little area here where I think I'm going to use filler. Basically that's about what I'm trying to say. So when I take it off and put it into the wheel, I'm going to concentrate on this area right here. Um, I see that it's a bit flat going here. I'll deal with that um, the same time as I'm dealing with that, but the, the concerning area is right there. That's where I want that old, I want to fix that goose egg right there that's low and flat and bring it up to something that looks like that. I'm going to cut it off. I said I was going to wait to cut it off, and that's what I'm going to do, just so you know and I know exactly what's going on. And there's no better, there's no better, there's no better than knowing exactly what's going on and, and you know, know what's going on. Then you can figure out what you would do, because this is what it's all about. I know what I'm, or I think I know what I'm going to do, but you can take from what I'm doing and do what you want to do to perfect what you want. But I'm going to have to snip this off. I'm going to have to use the grinder for a minute. So um, you can turn the TV down or do whatever you like. Jolene's going to put her earplugs in. But I'm going to snip this off because that's what has to be done. Hope I didn't put it on there too tight. That way there we can get it off easily. But I snapped it on there. I wanted to see what, what was, what, what's going on. All right, let's get this piece off.
I've got it on under pressure, as you can tell. Just take seconds to take it off. We've got our piece. I'm going to take, I'm going to take the grinder or the flapper wheel and just knock off them little spot welds just to make it easier on myself. Knock off some sharp places just so I don't cut myself. I'm going to put my gloves on. We still got our place where we, we know where we need to have the shape. Uh, basically you would not know where to have the shape unless you applied your piece. You know, I, I can pretend I know where I need the shape, but you don't really actually know until you try to apply. <clears throat> Just be a minute, just getting this ready, and then we'll go move on to the, the wheel. Alrighty, I think we're about ready. <clears throat> now, this I'm, I'm going to talk myself through this English wheel, and I'm going to talk it with you because you know you're 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 the people that watch, and we're doing it together. We're learning together because I'm going to be learning right at the present moment. But <clears throat> this is the way I look at the English wheel. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different. We'll call them dies. And what I look at them at, like, I, I think of them as sandpaper. That's what I think of them as. There's 40 grit, probably 60 grit, 80 grit, 120 grit, 200 grit, 400 grit, 600 grit. That's how I'm looking at it. And the reason I'm saying I look at it as sandpaper because that one right there in my brain is telling me that I'm going to get more shape out of that than that one. I'm going to get more shape out of that, this one than that one. And basically, when I sand my body fill, that would be the one I would want to start with, just because I feel like there's going to be more shape in that one. And the reason I'm saying, I, reason I'm saying this is, is because the one that I've built that's over in the other shop buried in the, in the containers, I've got a barren and it even has more shape than that. So I really, it was hard to work with because it really cut hard. But it has more shape than that, and every when I used it, it really worked fast. You know, you do you, you couldn't you didn't tighten it up much before it started laying things over. Um, when I put this panel in there, when I put this panel in there, we, let's go back to this area here. Well, we can just look at this panel right here. We know we know we have this shape uh, because I put in that roller, and it's still got the shape. You know, I, I you know we lost that shape. This is the part in the middle. We lost that shape here. Now it's flat again. Remember when I put it on, when it was on there, when it was on there, it had, it had, it had shape to it, didn't it? Now look at it, flat, flat as anything, right? And that's where, the, that's where the, the square tubing was, or square stock is, this piece here. That, see this piece right here has got that shape. Yes, it does. See that? We put that on there earlier, it had that shape. So basically what I'm saying is, this is what I'm going to say. Um, as I, I know I have this shape, when I stick the wheel, when I stick this in the wheel here and start rolling it, I played with it a little bit. I took a piece and, and put it in there and I got it adjusted right. And what I mean by adjusted right, that's for me. You adjust it any way you want to. I, I, it has a cam in there and you turn this down. Mine doesn't have a cam. I just have a turn up thing and that's how it works. It's just basic. I have one wheel, but I'm, I'm moving up to the professional stage. Thank you very much, baby. <laughs> um, I'm going to take the camshaft and run that up there. And I'm saying I've got it run right because I can run the both wheels nice. It runs nice, but they're both hitting each other. Runs good. So I'm just going to leave it like that. So I've more or less got it set where I think I want it. And that's how I've done it is kind of put it up there 
It's running nice. That's where I want to start because I'm going to have to put the metal in here. I'm using 18 gauge and I do not want to frig it up. I want this panel to work. I bring out the bag and the hammer. I could go in here and start pounding it. But I, I do not think I need to do that. And the reason being is I don't think there's, I don't need that much shape to start pounding it and wheeling it out. I don't think I need that much shape. I'm going to, I'm going to let my English wheel make my shape. And I'm going to run it in this area because I'm going to run it this way. Because when you run it through the wheel, this angle here and this angle here tells me that the metal is going to turn down this way and going to turn down this way. So if I take the metal and I run it through this way, I'm going to get that shape that I want this way. I've already got that shape this way. Now I want it to go this way. So I'm going to use my 40 grit, or whatever grit you think it is. That's the, that's the strongest wheel of the bunch by the looks of my eye. And I'm going by eye. That's the strongest wheel of the bunch. So I'm going to stick it in here. I'm going to tighten it down on the camshaft, so where I'm at where I think I'm going to be. And I'm going to try to focus in, on this area. Just going to focus on this area. Just kind of wheel it back and forth. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going down like that, turn it back this way, come back straight. Turn down like back, come straight. Turn down, come back, come straight. You know what I mean? It's just kind of, I'm just kind of wheeling it over. So it goes back and forth on that area. And you'll get on to it just like I will. I don't use this tool every day. No, I do not. But today's the day. I'm just going to pop it out and take a look at it because I'm allowed. Not doing anything yet. And we can always tighten it up. We can to make more shape. So as I got it going through this way, I want this panel. We got it going this way. I want this panel to go like that. talking to myself. Now, I'm going to tighten it up a bit. Just a little bit. See what happens. Trying to stay in the, in the area that I want to be in. And the reason I'm staying in the center here, because that's basically where I want the shape. I do not want the shape out here. No, I don't want the shape out there. I want the shape in the center there where it's flat. And then, oh, we'll, do, we'll do this first. What I'm thinking is that I'm going to, I'm gonna run it down a little bit. shape. And this English wheel is stretching the metal. We're stretching it. We're not, that's the only thing this thing does is stretch it. And we're just trying to get shape for the basic reason of less filler. We have the piece to fit. The piece fits. We just want less filler, so we want to put some shape in the middle of it. That's basically what I'm doing. That's basically it's all it's for. I'm going to let that off. Take a look at it. Let's do this. It was flat before. We're getting a little bit of shape. 
You know, it was flat before, it's still flat up in there. We're going to have to run it up a little bit further. But we're not flat in the middle anymore. And I, I just, I feel doing it like me just going easy here with the, with the strongest wheel, instead of hitting it with this and trying to get something going, I feel like I'll be stretching it too far. We don't want to, I don't want to stretch it too far. I want, I want to make it, I want to make a nice piece. I want, I want something that's going to sit in there and lay in there like it's supposed to be in there. Basically. Staying in the concentrated area. I feel like I probably could just run right down to the center of the whole thing and just stay there probably. So basically I'm just running it straight through and just angle a little bit and I'm going to one back and I'm going straight through, angle a little bit and then come back straight through and then going back the other way. And if I don't get it exactly right, I just slow down and do it some more. Right? That's basically it. Reason I'm running it this way, I got the shape going this way, now I want the shape to go this way. And with the wheel, with the way it is, I'm thinking that's what we're getting. No big heavy pressure. Just going to take it out for a second. You can see, you can see that. See them lines? We're on there quite heavy. That's cutting. That's that's the 40 grit. That's cutting. And we're not going to use that to finish this panel. That's not a finishing one. I would. This, that's a cutting one. That's giving us shape. That's giving us that. Might run it out a little bit further. Might run it out a little bit further. And what I mean by run it out a little bit further is out either side. But what? I, actually, I probably will not run it out further. I'm probably going to concentrate right in here, and then I'm going to grab a lesser grit, a lesser contour of a wheel, and I'll probably stretch it out a little bit further. That's probably what I'll end up doing. And this is not something you do to like all the time. This is something where you get into where I'm at, you're making something and you want some shape. That's what the hammer, the bag and the hammer's for, making shape. Could you see the lines on the camera I showed you? Good. Mm -hmm. So you can tell it's really cutting. We're making shape, stretching the metal. Making shape. I don't know how far I want to go with, this is what I don't know, how far I want to go with this 40 grit. It's just like sanding. With, with sandpaper, you know when you, when you start to see the metal that you want to lay off your 40 grit. Just as soon as you start to see that metal, you know you want to lay off your 40 grit. I'm not sure when I lay off with the, the, the stronger wheel. I'm not sure yet. How's that? I'll tell you the, the gifs of the matter. I'm going to go a little bit further. And I guess a lot of this is by eye. It's by eye, what, what you see. So basically, it, it matters if you're going to take it off and look at it. I know that I'm going to get that shape up here because I have that square stock. Down here I do not have that square stock, so I'm going to get a little bit of shape right here. Just 
slow down here a little bit, get back on track, there we go. Just trying to see if I'm getting a turn down here, that's what I'm looking for. We want a little turn down there, we want some shape there. I want to look at it. Getting shape now. That's what we want. That's what we want. Shape there too. That's what we want. A little flat here still. Well, there's shape. We can go back and forth. It wouldn't do that on the car. So we're getting shape. We're getting shape. Now, we do not want to go too far. Going too far is just like the, basically the exact same thing as going too far with your body fill. You start hitting the metal with your 40 grit, well then you're going too far because you have, not, you have no allowance for the 80 grit to sand it off. The 80 grit will take you to your metal. Uh, so basically what I'm saying is I do not want to go too far. I just want to go far enough I get some shape and then I can run it out with a, a nicer, nicer die. If I had hit this with the hammer in the bag, I'd have made too much shape, too quick, too fast, and been cutting another piece. Going good now, let's take a look. See how much shape I got there? It's not flat anymore, got a good shape going on. If I showed that good enough, did I? Okay, I'm just gonna do a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Thanks, Jolene. <laughs> I appreciate you. I really do. If you haven't voted for Jolene on Jet Set, please vote for my <laughs> Jolene, my queen. that back in again. Now. I got quite a bit on that. That's quite a bit. It's going good. Going good. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to say that um, we've got our shape. Not going up in here any further because we're going to get our shape when we put it on. We still got our shape going this way and we've got this shape because you can see it that way and I can show you that way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off, take this die out. I can't get it out. I don't know if I can get it out that way or not. No, I'll have to run her down. Nope, I want that die, sorry, excuse me. I want to do something first. All right, let's take that down a little bit. On this, on this area right here, when it comes to the exhaust pipe, I just want that to turn down just a little bit. So if I take that and stick that in there, like this, I'm going to get it that way. I'm going to take that, stick it in there. Just going to do a little bit, just on that edge. So, you know what's going to happen to the metal when I run it on that edge. Just trying to stay on that edge here. Oh, getting away from it. Just want that turned down a little bit. That's what the wheel's good for. It'd be hard. Put that back in there. Slow down a little bit. Slow down a little bit. Just want that turned down a little bit. That's all I want.
So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to turn this edge down. You know, we've got this. Now I just want that to turn down a little bit. We're getting it. Just, we're getting it just. Ah, I could have turned that right way. Sometimes you get off. Slow down and put it back where you need to go. All right, we got that turned down a little bit there. It's not bad. Got it turned down a little bit. All righty, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this. I'm going to pull that out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my grit. You know, I'm, I'm going to change dies, but basically what I'm doing, but what I'm saying is to make it easy on the brain is I'm going to change the grit that I want. And I guess it's, to me, I don't know what's going on. I haven't done this completely yet and I don't know what grit to go for and what I mean, what die to go for, but I want to get down in here where the, where the die's flatter, shape, shape, shape. Uh, and I'm figuring, why don't, I, why don't I go down here and be safe? Well, that's just like sandpaper, I would say, going from the sharpest to the dullest. Let's, let's go here. That's not bad. I'm going to choose this one. And I'm choosing it out of what? What am I choosing it for? I'm choosing it because I'm thinking that I'm just going to, I'm going to wheel the whole thing. I'm going to wheel the whole piece now. Where I've got the center up now, now I'm going to wheel the whole piece and try to bring, stretch this all out to the ends. If that makes sense. No. And if I need more shape, that means I have to come back over and do it again. Right? If I need more shape, it just means I have to come back over and do it again. So this one is not cutting like the other one. No. It's basically running over the 40 grit. <clears throat> shape on it all. I shouldn't be doing that. What I mean by doing that is pulling that so fast. Kind of giving it a wobble. If I had a, if I wanted more contour, basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to take out them little marks. It's basically what I'm doing and, sh and stretching it even flatter. That's what I want it. That's what I want it. Because it wasn't that way in the first place. Because I showed you. <laughs> and I'm just taking out the 40 grit scratches with the lesser of the wheel trying to stretch it all the way out to the whole pin. So I'm still doing this, but less of. Got that turned down. See, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it, I might have too much shape. And that's the game you play. All right, I'm going to try to put that on because there's quite a bit of shape in that. Quite a bit of shape in that. Actually, actually, no. I'm going to roll that out a little bit. I can't roll that out some. Now if I would have hit that with a hammer, 
I would have had more shape than enough because I think I've got enough now or too much maybe. Not sure. That's the game you play. That's the game you play. All right. Knock that off. We'll get the welder going. We'll get this thing down in place. Uh, I've got too much. I don't like how that's sitting there. This piece right here, I'm going to cut that off and just turn that down a little bit. This piece right here, you can see I shaved the edge of it off. It made that sit up too high. All right. Some glasses. Got myself sweat. That's okay, isn't it, baby? Huh? Sweating to the oldies. And that's the truth, isn't it? We're sweating to the oldies. That's the old cars, that is. Jolene looks amazing today, if I didn't tell you already. We're going to turn that piece down just a little bit. Just a little bit. Got some shape in it now, Mr. Man. I got some shape in it. He's going to wonder if I got to... Oh, got to plug it in. Just, it's just like the welder with no ground, it don't work. And know for sure that anything that you do can be cut back off and fixed. Watch yourself here. That's basically what, that, I guess, that's what I'm saying. Anything that you do can basically be cut back off and fixed. I want to tweak this a little bit. That's the name of the game, really, to, to be able to recognize, to recognize, look at that, just like that. That's what I want, just like that. That worked out good. Happy, happy, happy. All righty, put that back in there. I'm hoping that I didn't put too much shape into it. Hoping, basically, I'm hoping I didn't put too much shape in it. If I would have smacked, started beating with the hammer very first thing with the with the bag, you really have to be careful with that bag and the hammer. I, I bring it out there because I wanted to see if I had to use it. Spitting, um, and uh, and I did not because, you know, if you're you know building a maybe a shape like this, you know, you want it that shape here. Maybe you could beat it first and then roll it, make it a little quicker for yourself. But in all honesty, um, that sharp wheel, your 40 grit, your toughest wheel there, is the one to make some shape. We all, I just showed you that. I just showed you that. Oh, don't do that. I want a hammer to knock that back. Just a little, just a little bit. So we're underneath there. There we go, now we're talking. Back just a little bit more. Not that far probably, but yeah, that looks better. No gas on, that's the start of the morning. It's in place though. All the way on, from what I was understanding, there's been a few comments. All the way on or all the way off, that's where that needs to be. You know what? I'm going to take that piece of advice because it does not hurt me to turn it all the way on or off, does it? It does not hurt me one bit. Take that piece of advice. Thank you very much. Something that doesn't hurt, take it. I had to go back to the trusty Lincoln helmet. I couldn't handle the squeaking of the, someone said it sounded like R2-D2 or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got going on there. Now, this might be something to put back on because of the shape that we've got put in it. And we have got some shape put in it. I'm telling you, we've got some shape. I don't know if I run the shape too far or 
too much or what? But we've got some shape. Just like Jolene, she's got shape. All right, so what I'm gonna do, just like we did last time, slide it underneath there. Don't be so silly, Chad. Woo! I'd like to lay that just on there and go for it, but I don't think it's gonna allow me. Don't do that. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. So I take and lay that on there like so. And apply it. Okay. We're going to use the John Hunt stool. Just so I can get up in there and uh, maybe press that on. Needs to be. We've got shape, that's for sure, isn't it, baby? What? We got shape. We got shape! I know that that was underneath there. I had this piece underneath here before, underneath the back, and it's not wanting to go there now. It wants to set on top. I do not want it to set on top, and the reason being is what's the reason? Fight with me. Everybody likes a good fight first thing in the morning, huh? I'm gonna tack that on right there. Just for starts. I can still move it. Just talking to myself. I can still move it. Maybe I'll have to. Nope, I don't want to do that. Let's take that out of there. Put it on top of there. And I'll cut. Maybe butt that. Got some shape there now, haven't I, baby? Mm -hmm. Have I got too much? where the failure comes in. Yeah, it's raised up way too much there. To the wheel back to the wheel this is the fun part see if I can get it I didn't put no shape on this on the edge I just put it in the center I feel like um, that I went too far with it maybe if I whacked it on this side I just, want, I just want to think now. If I, do you see how I got, I just want everybody to see what's going on so they can follow my failures just like I'm following them. I've got way too much in the center. Way too much. You see that? That's why I feel like I have way too much. It's turned down here nice though. Just trying to think now. game I'm going to play. Um, I 
I'm going to take some of this shape. Take some of this shape. I don't know if I can run. That. I don't know. This is what I don't know. Got that shape there. Didn't have to run it that far, did I? Good thing I didn't beat it with a hammer. Could oh. you run it back through the roller? The other way? No, the same way that you rolled like it initially and it would have flattened the... This out? Or this? The middle. Like if you rolled it back in that roller. The same way that you initially rolled it. Good thinking, Chicky. <laughs> Good thinking, Chicky. Did you hear the suggestion? Jolene said, can you roll it back through the roller? Let's check it out. Let's see what happens. I'm willing to try it. And if this works, Jolene's not a 10. She's a 15. <laughs> So we're going to go back through the roller here. I've actually made too much, too much. I made too much. So we're going to put it back through the roller. And uh, we're going to see what happens. Because I don't, it's not fitting the greatest. It's not fitting the greatest. That'll flatten it out a little bit. Yes, it will, sweetheart. See what happens. You can see that it. Not bad though, was it? Mm. Not bad. Learning. Right in front of your very eyes, learning. I'm going to try a little bit more of this on the edge, I think. And the reason, why am I thinking on the edge? I've got lots of this, obviously. Lots of crown on it. Try this on there again. I had it. She's got some strength to wrench huh? It's not taking off anywhere. Here we go. Stay up there. Get her. There we go. Alrighty, let's do this. Let's leave it like that for a second. Yep. Good. The reason I don't like it because it's not performing right there. Like it's hard to. I can screw that there. That's good. I think, I think that's going to work. I think it's going to work. I think. Could be wrong. I'm going to take that off. And I'm going to take a little bit out of it. And I'm going to roll it the other way. What I mean, I'm going to roll it the other way. I'm just going to take a little bit out of it if I can. And I'm going to take it out with this one. Take a little bit out of it. I'm just going to go the other way, obviously. Come back the other way. Put some in it, take some out, I guess.
Don't want to take it all out. Just want to take some out. Makes sense to me. Makes sense to you. Mm-hmm. Just taking it back down the other way if I can. Just take a little bit out. That might have done me a huge favor. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Let's take a little more out. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. A little more out. Just got a little too much in there. We're going to take some out. Just going to keep it concentrated in the center, I think. It's even a better panel, like it's even looked like it's going to fit now, you know? Instead, before it was all curled too heavy. Ooh, ooh, that's fitting good. Ooh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Just a little bit more. Hate to say that, but it is what it is. It is what it is. So, just want to get a little bit on the edge here. My finger caught in that, I won't be so happy, will I? Huh? I see that I got a little bit there. I ran only ran it in the center. Could have probably should have ran it maybe all the way out. It's not going that way. Alright. It's gonna kind of fit good though. go somewhere I gotta try you know soon start to try if I don't tack it on try or something well I might as well do nothing Isn't that right I think yeah I think I'm gonna tack it on went backwards there a second or two but the panel does look a lot better it does look a lot better it's actually fitting like a panel now, not like something that's got too much. And you could tell it had too much because it didn't fit. <laughs> All right, now, just want to slide that back some. Hit it where it's tight. Still move it. There we go. Now we're talking. Like that.
on exactly tight there. Could just use a little more shape right there, eh? See that, do you? Well, not really, like, not really. Like, if I get too much shape in it, then it's kind of defeating the purpose, is it not? Like, lean on it, there's no going down. <laughs> That's what I'm saying for sure. not bad. Not bad at all. When I open the trunk lid up, I can get that up just a little bit if I want to by tapping that underneath there. some. All right, I think that it's tacked on. I'll take the zip cut and get that. Stop pushing on that. But. Come look. Let's let's do this before I knock it on. What are we at? Fifty-five. Fifty-five. I can't drive. Fifty-five. Now we're not flat anymore, are we? Huh? Not flat anymore. <laughs> not flat anymore. Not even a little bit. Not flat out there at all anymore, long. That was flat before, if you remember right. Now we're like this. I'm saying that we got it. I'm saying that we got it. I'm saying that we got it. What do you think, sweetheart? I'm thinking right there, it probably could use a little bit. And I'm thinking that I'd rather tap it with the hammer and then start wheeling it, because I think the wheel's got us where we need to go. Like, I think it's got us where we need to go. 
going to come down back. Take a look at that. But I think I want more shape right there. That's where I want more shape. Uh, I'm not willing. I'm not sure if I'm willing to tap on that with a hammer, bring it up, or to wheel it and bring it up. But other than that, that looks good to me. It does. What do you think, sweetheart? Yeah, it looks good. Like. Yeah, I think that I'm going to go with it. I think I'm going to go with it. I'm going to knock that off because I can come in here and tap that with a hammer a little bit, just like anything else. I can take it. I can take it off and wheel it. Yes, I can. But I also can tap it with a hammer. And why would I not do that? It seems like to be the easiest route to me. Tap with a hammer. But you can see how fast um, something can go <laughs> too much with the wheel. Definitely something I'm going to play with more often. I'm happy with that. I'm going to nail it down. I'm happy with that. I can knock the trunk, knock the trunk lid off. Come up here and tap that up a little bit. Tap. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Very happy. Knock her down here. Wait for the red leaves. Need a little bit right there, and I think I can do that with a hammer. I know I can do it with a hammer. I might as well use all my arsenals, hadn't I not? May as well. basic reason I took that off there. Good. I've got shape. And that tells me I got shape because it will not fit. It was flat there before, remember? flat there before it's not anymore got quite a that's not that's good now if I can do the same on the other one we'll be doing good let's give away a hat or a shirt I'm gonna come in here after probably after a bit and I'm gonna bang on I'm gonna tack this down good and I'm gonna bang this up a little bit right here just a little tiny bit I'll probably use a rubber mallet the reason I'll use a rubber mount just to go easy. Something like that, you can spend hours and hours and hours and hours if you want to. And it's just called doing the best job you can feel like doing. It's good. It's good. It's good. Beautiful. You are, Jolene. You're beautiful. Tacking those down.
I'm going to want to tap that one up just a little bit. Oh, hammer choked off, ain't it? Hmm? <clears throat> what I want to do is this is what I want to do. Can I? Have we got time? Yep. All right. She said I got time. What's one? Oh, what I want to do. Is I want to knock the trunk lid off and just come up underneath there and just bang on that a little bit right there. Trunk lid is probably going to say, ah, I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. Now that now, would you? And it still works. Still works. All right. Good. Didn't know it was going to work even. I didn't. Uh, I didn't. Yes. Mic all sideways. Just want to knock up right here a little bit. Ooh, what a hard spot that is. Won't be knocking that up anytime soon. You know what? It's not that bad, though, you know? It's not that bad. That panel is just as hard. Beautiful. <laughs> as hard as anything. Right there is the culprit. And it's really not that bad, to be honest with you. Once I get that... No, I think it's all right. I'm fussing with it because I got a new tool, but I think that's, I think it's bang on to be honest with you. I can fuss with it and fuss with it and fuss with it and fuss with it. Yes, I can. I'm going to take this hammer see if I can get in there. <laughs> Maybe that was my sign. Get out of there. I'm saying that was a successful first panel. That's what I'm saying. I don't think. Come look at this way, sweetheart, if you want to. I think it's good. We got this right here. I'd like to get down, maybe, if you can get down to see it. And you can see we got that swoop going up. So basically, we got to fill. We got to fill this line here where we're welding. So we're going up here. We got a nice area here. We don't have to put a whole bunch of filler in anymore. And then off to the back. I think it's good. Yeah, I think it's good. Why, why do I keep playing with it then?
do, 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 do. And take a. No, nope, that's not going to fit in there. <laughs> should just leave it alone. Leave it alone. All right, let's give away a Hatter shirt. I think we, we're doing good. I'm just picking at it because I've got a new tool there. I'm trying to do the best job I can. And it's very easy, as you've seen. You can go too high too quick. But it's good. It's better than it was, that's for sure. Better than it was. <clears throat> On this panel this time, I, I probably won't take it as high this time. And, and if I do, yeah. And I might run it over a little bit further. Run it over a little bit further. We'll see what happens. Let's give away a hat or shirt. Hope you had fun, because I had fun. That was fun doing that, learning that. Basically, it's a learning process, the whole thing for me. I'm having that there, trying to get it to fit like something. And, you know, we just watched me do, what, half hour, an hour of it? an hour of it, so um, you could spend, I don't know what you want to spend on it, but I did an hour of wheeling it, trying to get it to get shape. We have got shape. I'm going to play with it probably a little bit more, you know, just getting in the trunk, playing with it, hitting it, getting it the best it can, and, uh, and then go from there. I also, that was made out of 18 gauge, so we've got a little bit of metal to grind if we want to and, and form a little bit, play with whatever kind of tool you want to play with, but it's 18 gauge. And I see a lot of people asking what kind of wire I use. It's 023 I use. So I'm glad I didn't hit it with a hammer and try to shape it. I would have had a ball, wouldn't I? I would have had a ball. 670. 670 comments. All right. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Barry Collins. Lovely job with the build, Chad and Jolene. It's coming along nicely now. Keep up the great work, the both of you. Well, thank you very much, Barry Collins. You get a hat or shirt of your choice. You just watched me uh, learn on the, the new English wheel that we have. And what I consider all them dies is, is just different grades of sandpaper and just different grades of, of working, you know what I'm saying? Like each one is a little bit stronger than the other. And after a while, I'll learn exactly what to do with each one and uh, I'll share it with you. Thanks and come back tomorrow. And if you have not voted for Jolene yet, please do. We're, we're, it's a long process. I'm going to keep bugging you every day. But um, like I said, she supports me and I want to support her. Have a good one, everybody.